very, very welcome front. Thanks, Madison. Well, new numbers after day three of early voting yesterday. More than 10,000 people headed to the polls in Lubbock County on Wednesday. That makes more than 33,000 early voters in Lubbock County since the start on Monday. Three days, 33,000 people. Can you believe that? Well, nearly 4,000 more than the same time in 2020. GameX Cameron Mendoza spoke with a Texas Tech political science professor about this turnout. It used to be that voting in person on election day was the dominant by far way of voting. But the times are changing this election. You know, a lot of states relax their early voting policies. They've been expanding the number of days you can vote early, making it easier to vote early, adding more early voting sites. Joseph Cole is a Texas Tech political science professor who has not only done his fair share of research on voting. So my main research is like election policies like mail voting, voter IDs, okay. uh, I'll do stuff on like voter confidence, voter fraud beliefs. But he's participated as well, understanding just how secure Votes are. When I was a poll worker, we would get the machines and set them all up. And when they do the when they do the counting of the, of the votes, there's there's a local canvas, the state certification, all of that. We put a lot of emphasis in making sure elections are well run. While poll workers put in extra work to ensure everything's done correctly, they have to do it for the thousands showing up to cast their ballots. In the past few days, early voting records have been shattered, not just here in Lubbock County, but across the country. Cole says the difference may lie in how Harris and Trump are campaigning. For example, we've had both uh, the Republican and Democratic candidate go on podcasts, talk shows, uh, looking at these new new areas of trying to engage their voters, things like TikTok, for example. And that's been somewhat different where they're trying to use this almost specific form of targeting to get specific demographic groups to turn out. As time ticks on casting your ballot, Cole says voting statistically has shown to become more difficult as early voting winds down. I would say make up your mind, do your research, and try to vote earlier if you can. It does make it a lot easier. Cameron Mendoza, KMAC News.